I always loved cricket, like since I was really small. My dad like bought me a plastic bat and ball when I was like three years old and would just play. It always I always liked all sports, but cricket was the one I just enjoyed the most. Like I remember I got my first like hard ball set um, when I was like eight years old, seven years old. So I was playing from a very early age and I played everything, but as I said, I enjoyed cricket way more than everything else. So it was always, that was always just what drew me. I don't know what it was. It was just, I just enjoyed it more than everything else. I was very young, like 11 or 12. I knew I wanted to be it. I didn't know if I was capable of being it, but I knew that's what I wanted to do. And then when I got to like grade 10, I started to improve quite nicely and I realized that this is something that I'm capable of and I challenged myself against some other professional players when I was still in school. Like I got to train with our franchise team in Durban and that, and I held my own and I realized that this is definitely something that I could do. So I just kept on pushing from there. I think there was a moment when I realized I could be a professional cricketer. I was in grade 10, I was 16 years old and I made like, I made the South African schools team. And I was like two or three years younger than everyone else in the team. I remember that being like, wow, like if I can accomplish this at this age, like the world's my oyster. I remember that. And I remember getting picked for like the South Africa under 19 team for the first time, I was also really young. And that was also a shock, like I didn't even expect it. So I was like, wow, this is happening. Um, yeah, those were, those were two moments where I realized I could be a professional cricketer. I'm a little bit hard on myself. Um, compliment wise, as soon as I get hard, my wife quickly shuts it down and goes like, stop forgetting how good you really are. Sometimes I have these little five minute moments where I just need to be really hard on myself and I'm able to get over it very quickly, but sometimes I have a little negative spat and she's like, just quit it, you're being an idiot. Um, so yeah, no, I'm definitely a little bit too hard on myself sometimes. I've eased up on myself a lot over the years. I don't, to make, to put it the right way, I've realized that cricket's not the be all and end all of my life. Like I think having kids and a family and there's so many worse things in life that could happen than me not having a great game or if I get dropped, whatever. I'm like, there's worse things in life that could happen. I just enjoy the journey now. I don't get to do it forever. So I try my best to just enjoy it. But there's still some tough times where you get frustrated. It's the first time having a child, I didn't know how to be a dad just yet. I was like the fun uncle because I had four nephews and a niece. So no, it was initially quite difficult, but no, I've, I've grown into it really nicely. I think after we had our second one, I feel like my life didn't even change because we just both, my wife and I knew how to parent and all of that. So um, no, I really, I really enjoy it. They've been good for, as I said earlier, leveling me out and not taking cricket so seriously. Yes, it's still my profession. I always try and be the best I can be, but I don't go home and obsess over cricket if I've had a bad bowling session or something. I'm able to kind of leave my work at work and go home and not worry too much like I used to. I'd say the sacrifices are different now because of we left our whole family in South Africa, so my wife she has a lot of downtime with the kids in that, which is, it sounds beautiful on paper, but it's really, it's not easy. So there's a lot of um, time away from her and she struggles, she doesn't get to work just yet. So it's like, it's not, it's not easy. So there's those sacrifices. And honestly, the sacrifices are all on her side, not really on my side. So I have to thank her for that. She gave up a great career in South Africa to allow me to live my dream a little bit longer over here. To give us a chance to immigrate, we are very grateful to be able to have come to a country like this as well. So yeah, I think when um, my sacrifices are coming in the future, when she wants to put her future, her career uh, forward, um, and I'm starting to get a little bit older in my cricket career, not older, but um, I'll start have to make, I'll have to make some sacrifices for her, which I'll have no issue. She's allowed me to live my dream. I've already lived it for 12 years and I can hopefully live it for a couple more years. Um, so yeah, I don't think I've given any, she's given all of them.